Hello and welcome to SL Productions in a brand new video. In this video, I'll be ranking the episodes of Series 11 of Doctor Who from worst to best. Now, Series 11 as a whole has been an average series. That hasn't been an outstanding episode, but that hasn't been a terrible episode. In my opinion, most of the episodes were average. None of them were really good, but none of them were really bad. So yes, please let me know your ranking in the comments below and what you thought of Series 11 as a whole. And yes, quick disclaimer, this is my opinion, I would love to know your opinion, so please put your ranking in the comments below. I've said that twice now. So yes, starting this list at number 10, the worst episode of series 11, in my opinion, is The Witch Finders. Now this episode for me got off to a good start. However, about at the three quarter mark, it went from here to here. I thought that the ending of the story was very rushed. I didn't like the CGI, the witch creature, the prosthetics were terrible. I just did not like the ending for this story. I thought it had so much potential and it was not executed right. So yes, that's why The Witch Finders comes in at number 10. Now moving on to number 9, we do have It Takes You Away. Now It Takes You Away, a good concept. I love the Norwegian setting. I love the concept of the living universe. However, there were a few flaws to this episode. One, the talking frog, which I don't think anyone really liked. I thought the talking frog was just totally ridiculous, even though it is Doctor Who and basically anything can happen. But Doctor Who fans don't know that. So yes, I didn't like the talking frog and I also didn't like the void between the two realities. I thought that was a bit like Wizards vs Aliens on CBBC. It reminded me of that. So yeah, that's what let this episode down. Coming in at number 8, we do have Demons of the Punjab. Again, great setting for this episode, like the historical context. I just didn't feel like there was a threat to this episode. The plot seemed to be a bit boring in some places, and I just didn't really enjoy this story that much. I didn't feel like the companions were in any threat at all during this episode, and yeah, just didn't like it. Now, coming in at number 7, we do have The Ghost Monument, the second episode of Series 11 of Doctor Who. And in my opinion, The Ghost Monument didn't really have a threat either. It just seemed to be the Doctor and her companions and a couple of other people, well, trekking through this wasteland planet. And yeah, that is a good concept. I love the CGI in this episode. I thought it was great. And the setting, I thought that was great as well. It just didn't feel like they were in any threat at any time, even when they were getting shot at. You just knew that they were going to survive, and there wasn't really a threat in the story either. Now, coming in at number six, we do have the Saranga Conundrum. And in my opinion, this episode is better than what other people say it is, and I do actually quite like this episode. Yes, the pating in this episode is a bit weird, but other than that, it is quite a good episode. But there's not really a threat in this episode, so yes, I do not like that about the Saranga Conundrum, hence why it comes in at number six. So yes, moving on to number five. So yes, coming in at number five, we do have Arachnids in the UK. So yes, in my opinion, this episode was fun. There was a lot of fun elements to this story. It does have a couple of flaws. There wasn't really a villain in this story. So yes, didn't like that about this story. And also the title, it should have been Arachnids in Sheffield. And yeah, there was that grime music, which I didn't like about this story. But other than that, it was a great story in my opinion. So yes, coming in at number four, we do have the finale of series 10, The Battle of Ranscore I've come Loss. So yes, this episode was great in my opinion, there was a lot of explosions, there was quite a bit of action, there was just a few flaws, it didn't really feel like a finale of Doctor Who, it just felt like a regular episode. Even though Tim Shaw came back for this story, who appeared in the first episode, it just didn't feel like it was a finale because there wasn't really an arc to this series. So yeah, that's just what I did not like about this episode, or the series as a whole. Now coming in at number 3, we do have Kaplam, the 7th episode of series 11 of Doctor Who. And yeah, really fun episode, I thought it was a proper adventure episode. There was kind of a villain in the story, but it wasn't really a villain mastermind like Tim Shaw. And yeah, I really did like the story, thought it was really fun. However, I did not like the CGI and the conveyor belts, I thought that was really bad. But other than that, a great episode. Now coming in at number 2, we do have Rosa, the 3rd episode of Doctor Who series 11. And in my opinion, another great episode, loved the historical context of this episode thought that was really good loved the time travel adventure to this story also thought that was really good about this story now coming in at number one we do have the woman 
who fell to Earth. The first episode of Series 11 of Doctor Who, and I thought it was a great start to Series 11. You know, you had the villain, you had the side characters. I thought this episode was really good, felt really intense, and yeah, you actually felt like the characters could die. And yeah, of course, one of them did die. So yeah, that's what I liked about this episode. And yes, that is the ranking of Series 11 episodes worst to best. Please let me know your ranking in the comments below. And a Merry Christmas to all of you at home. And I quote William Hartnell from The Dalek Invasion of Earth, The Feast of Stephen, even though I don't have a wine glass, so I can't really do that. So yes, goodbye.